everyone, hope you're doing very well. I am currently sitting on the floor because my whole collection has just come in the post and I'm so excited. So I thought that I would just sit down and unbox it with you on camera and talk you through all the pieces, just show you them. See, I have seen all the jewellery before, I've worn a few pieces of it at the shoot, um, but this is going to be the first time that I've seen it all together um, with the packaging and everything. But, um, for anybody who doesn't know it already, um, I have created a jewellery collaboration with Stax. Um, so Stax are such an amazing brand. They first approached me, I think it was the end of last year. So this has been like a good seven, eight months of uh, planning, designing, and then finally getting everything done and dusted this month. Um, just a little bit of background behind Stax as a brand and kind of the reasons why I wanted to work with them so much. Um, so Stax are a demi-fine jewellery brand. So they create luxury jewellery so we kind of created half the collection is demi fine with gold plated jewellery and then half is luxury of 14 karat gold so I really wanted to have like the mixture of the two personally for me especially because I wear all gold I wanted to create pieces that are going to last you a lifetime so that's why we've got like the high-end luxury pieces in there um they're all so beautiful like I can't even explain to you how amazing they are. Stax uses recycled 14 karat gold as well so they're completely sustainable and a really really ethical brand um, which for me, putting my name on something was so important that it had that. So yeah, everything will be available to buy um, from Stax website. So I will leave a link down below and I have a link in my bio on my Instagram as well. I'm just going to get going unboxing it, uh, showing you the packaging and I'll speak in a little bit more detail about every piece kind of as we go along. This is the box that everything has come in. Um, so you can see it's just got the Stax logo here. And then on here it says never limit your self-expression. Ooh packaging is matte black and then it has a glossy design the whole way around the box so if I show you a little bit closer up hopefully you'll be able to see there's just a glossy snake that goes the whole way around the box one of my drawings that we just made to fit around the box I thought a snake would obviously work really well because we could wrap it around the whole of the box and then on the top we've just got both our logos together I really liked um, the difference between their like capitals and my kind of handwritten logo. I think the two just worked really nicely together, which is why we chose to present it like this. So, and then when you take the lid off, um, inside it's all hot pink. Uh, so all the packaging is recyclable as well, which is why we wanted to kind of play with colour and texture rather than uh, plastic inserts and things like that. So this gave us a lot more freedom um, while still keeping it recyclable. Um, so yeah, the hot pink is really, really beautiful. And then inside the tube, um, you just pull out these little bags. So they're just obviously to keep your jewellery nice and safe. Okay, so I've just unpackaged everything and this is my entire collection. Um, it's like looking at my little baby, this. This is like so weird to see everything all together. It's so nice. Um, so yeah. So these are the two rings up close. Uh, both of them are 14 karat gold plated sterling silver. So I'm going to do my best to show you this up close, but I think this is going to be quite difficult to see on camera. So it's like a gold signet ring shape, and then there's a resin in the middle. And inside, there's like a really faint outline of a rose, um, like a single stem rose. I played with the traditional sort of signet ring style with the flowers in them. Um, but we want to do something a little bit different, and I just really like the gothic sort of style of old Victorian jewellery. This definitely gives that kind of feel to it. And the resin is almost like a slightly grey, mauve, purpley kind of colour. Yeah, it's just a really unique sort of style. It looks very vintage as well, which obviously I'm absolutely in love with vintage jewellery. So yeah, I hope you can see that, but there will definitely be better pictures which do a little bit more justice. With this one you can see it's a slightly more simple design. Um, so this is just a gold dome ring. Um, I absolutely love these, these are amazing for stacking, um, so you can see I've actually got two on here and if you put them at like a slight angle they kind of fit together to make this really beautiful shape. Um, obviously you can wear it on its own as well like this. Um, these look really really beautiful with other jewellery as well, they really complement like everything. Um, so you can stack them with pretty much anything and they always look amazing. The quality is so beautiful with all of these. Um, I made it very clear like I didn't want to do shitty jewellery that was just going to break and go green and just be horrible because I think I've had like my fair share of experience with jewellery like that and yeah I just wanted to make something that completely 
wasn't that were going to be like investment pieces that were going to last as soon as you feel all of this like the quality is just beautiful okay so that's it for the rings we just kept the two rings um we actually designed loads of stuff and then had to kind of whittle it down at the end which was really really difficult but yeah i think we picked like the best bits to make like a really nice collection that all worked together um so then the next thing i'm going to show you is the bracelet So there's just one bracelet in the collection. It's a really simple gold chain link bracelet, but um, it's really heavy, like the quality feels absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm not gonna put this on because <laughs> I've only got one on. You can see when it's on just how beautiful it looks. Um, it's really nice. Obviously I've got really small wrists, um, but I still love chunky jewelry. It's still quite dainty and feminine, but it's still got that nice sort of chunky, chunkiness to it. Um, but yeah, absolutely in love with this. It's so beautiful. I've actually wanted a gold chain brace like this for ages, um, so I just made one myself. There are two chains in the collection as well. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to show you these. We have this T-bar chain, and um, this is like a really sophisticated design. I really, really like this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces from the collection. I feel like you can just wear this every day and then you can also really dress it up. Um, I wore this with like the long V-neck sort of blazer dress um, and it just looks so beautiful. The quality is just so amazing. I remember the first time that I held the chains, I was like, oh my god, they feel so, so expensive. And then, going on to the second chain, this is the kind of standout sort of chain. I absolutely love my chunky gold jewellery, and I love layering everything, so this is like the perfect piece for layering. With this one, the way that you fasten it is, again, we have a bar on it, and it goes through this loop. Um, at the shoot, I also wore it, it's going to be hard to explain, but... um. I kind of pulled it through the loop so then you end up with this bit kind of hanging down um, your chest so yeah there's actually a lot of different ways you can wear this one like I can't explain to you like how heavy this feels like the quality is just so so amazing now, moving on to the earrings and um, so we've got a selection of hoops and then some cartilage um, earrings as well for me like ear jewelry is specifically like my favorite thing in the entire world um, so it was really important for me that these were perfect. Um, I think we probably had maybe like 30 plus designs, maybe even more. And then, yeah, we completely narrowed it down to the ones that we thought were going to be the most interesting. Uh, we're just going to work the best. And yeah, I wanted everything to be completely perfect. And just looking at it all now, I feel like we made like 100% the right decisions on everything. Start with the biggest pair. So these are actually the biggest pair of hoops um, in the collection. We initially had quite a lot of bigger, bigger hoops. I'm way more into wearing slightly smaller hoops now. Um, and yeah, I just felt like these were a little bit more versatile and you can go in a little bit more with like the detail and the design of smaller hoops in my opinion. So hopefully it picks up the detail nicely on these. These are obviously little twisted hoops. And um, so one of the twists has like a textured line through it and then one is just plain. Like I said, we really wanted to play with like texture and detail. And um, so these are so beautiful. He's slightly smaller but still bigger than like a proper huggy and um, we have these gold sort of hammered style hoops so initially we had plain gold hoops because I thought you know I wear those all the time um, but we just wanted to add a little something just to make them slightly more interesting I decided to add this kind of hammered effect uh, obviously just adds a little bit of texture makes them a little bit more interesting um, these are amazing I'm so so happy with how these turned out open like this and then close just by clicking them in so really, really easy to put in yourself um, and really comfortable to wear as well. We have just got some super simple, um, much smaller huggies. So these are just plain gold huggy hoops. So they're actually going to hug tightly onto your ear. So these are perfect for like second and third holes um, or even just first holes if you just want them to fit perfectly to your ear. Um, so yeah, these are so, so sweet. And again, they just click in to secure. These are just like absolute every day we'll be wearing these for the rest of my life, bury me in them sort of thing. And next up, um, these are definitely up there with probably my favourite piece um, in the collection. So these are again tiny, these are kind of the same size as the plain gold ones I just showed, um, but they have little opals. These are real opals as well, I wanted them to obviously be really good quality and really luxurious. Um, so yeah, you've got a row of just four opals. These are like the most beautiful colour opals I think I've ever seen. Um, I don't know how well you'll really be able to see it on here, but they pick up a lot of pink tones, these opals, so they're like a really, really nice colour. Um, and yeah, just so you can see 
for size, they're pretty diddy. And then last but not least for the hoops, um, these are my favourite in the collection, like fully favourite child moment. The most beautiful, like unique thing I've ever seen. Um, so these are pretty small, so they do hug like your ear obviously fits in this little space in the middle. So they're really easy to wear. Um, and then hopefully you'll be able yeah, hopefully you'll be able to see like the detail in them. So they kind of have like these sort of indents all the way around um, on the inside as well. So they've just got like a really beautiful pattern. That's the kind of like French clips as well. So they're again really comfortable to wear and you haven't got to worry about losing backs or anything. Uh, oh my God, these are just the most beautiful thing. They're just a really different take on a simple like everyday earring because they are small enough to hug your ear. Um, you can so easily wear them every day, but they're just a little bit, you know, just something a little bit different. So yeah, they are just the most amazing. And last but not least, um, we've got nine librette cartilage sort of style pieces. And um, these are all 14 karat gold. So these are the higher end, more luxurious pieces. I feel like it's easier to do that with these style of earrings because you are more likely to put them in and kind of keep them in, whereas your hoops you probably do change up a little bit more daily. They're like super luxurious, treat yourself kind of thing. So yeah, they are all 14 karat gold, incredible quality. All of these are also uh, internally threaded, which means that the thread goes through the back. Um, for me, I find that way easier to put them on because that was another thing we spoke about. Um, I'm the worst for trying to change my own piercings. You know, your hands just get clammy, you just drop everything everywhere. So we wanted to make them as easy as possible to put in at home. So internally threaded jewellery is safer and higher quality anyway, which is why they can be a little bit more expensive and a little bit harder to find. The first two that I'm going to show you are, these are like the showstopper pieces. Um, they are so gorgeous. So we've got two kind of fan. So this one here is diamond and this one is opal. So with the diamond one, we've got a fan of five little teardrops of diamonds. Um, this is so beautiful. I actually wore this in my conch for the shoot and it is absolutely gorgeous. I really wanted to make at least one fan piece because I just think they fit so nicely anywhere. Obviously in cartilage they look amazing, amazing in like a conch piercing. They just kind of fit the shape of your ear really nicely. Created this little opal one. This has obviously got three fans so it's slightly smaller. Um, you can actually wear this on your tragus as well. Um, I've got like a particularly small tragus but for you know your average person um, this would look really beautiful on a tragus. So yeah, again, the opals are just amazing. They pick up so many different colours. You're getting kind of turquoises, pinks, greens. They're just so, so beautiful. Um, so yeah, absolutely obsessed with those two. But these two funky little guys. Um, so we definitely wanted to do a couple that were a little bit more fun. They're kind of based off a few of my designs. Uh, just kind of tied everything in together. So we created this tiny little dagger. We created this tiny little dagger. And there are also three little stones in the points. But I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, but this is super tiny, so it's really cute. I actually had this on my tragus, and it looked so, so sweet. Really small, so it will fit pretty much anywhere. Um, yeah, I just think it was a really fun little design and something a little bit different. To start, we've got this little snake, and this is so, so sweet. This, again, is, like, really, really small, so this would look really good on a tragus anywhere, really. Um, and then there's two little black stones just in the head of the snake. So then I've got these two little diamond ones to show you as well. It's just a tri-stone one, so it's just the three little diamonds together. And um, this is so cute. This is a really nice stackable one that can go kind of anywhere just to add a little bit of sparkle in. I also wanted to make one that was super sparkly and also wearable, but with a little bit more of an interesting design. So we went for a flower design. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see this. So yeah, it's just made up of diamonds with the little kind of petals and the centre one. So yeah, again, really, really sweet and easy to kind of stack things up just to add a little bit of sparkle and a sort of luxury look to your ears. Another super fun, cute little one is this little flower stem one. Um, this is like a really, really sweet one. Um, so this is just a gold flower with the little stem and the leaves. And then in the centre, you've just got a little diamond. At least we have got these two. So this one is really, really beautiful. Quite an interesting take on quite a simple design. Um, so you've got like the teardrop diamond and then at the top here you've got three little gold balls and then the gold balls kind of framing it at the bottom. Um, hopefully you can see that on camera. But yeah, it's so beautiful. And again, just a really easy way to add like different textures and a little bit of sparkle into your jewellery. 
then we have got this little gold one so it's got a bigger gold ball at the top and then three gold balls at the bottom and um, so this is a really nice one for kind of anywhere in the year I wear this in like my second and third holes quite a lot and um, it just looks really nice alongside sort of hoops and some of the more sparkly ones um, so yeah absolutely adore that and the backs are all little flower shapes which is super cute um, and remove it you just twist from the back so you obviously pop that in and then attach it back onto here and just twist so they're super secure once they're on you know they're in it's not like with the balls where sometimes they kind of fall off um, they're really really secure once they're in they're not going to go anywhere yeah that is my entire collection um, everything is so so gorgeous and I really hope that you love it as much as I do um, I can't wait to see you all wearing it um, and yeah it just thank you so much for all the support okay so that is it for the full collection um, I hope you love the pieces as much as I do obviously I've just chucked a few of them on because it's like the first time I've actually been able to kind of wear them um, so yeah just so you can see how a few of them look so this is the t-bar necklace so obviously you can see it's really really dainty I've got a few of my rings on but you know I'll show you those close up anyway and then in my ears I have got the twisty hoops and my little hammered gold ones and then the little opal huggies so you can see just pretty much all of these pieces look amazing together and um, there's actually nothing in the collection that doesn't work well with another piece um, we kind of stuck really closely to a theme and then kind of changed bits and pieces just so as a whole it's like a really really curated collection um, so yeah I literally couldn't be happier with it and I'm so excited to see you all wearing it I hope that you all love it as much as I do and yeah massive thank you to all of you because I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys so yeah big big love to all of you so so excited for it to finally be coming out this has been like months and months in the making and it's just so lovely to finally see everything kind of coming together the link to everything will be in the description down below um, as well as in my instagram bio to shop everything thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for being here i love you all so so much and i'll be back very soon love you